scripture that is located in the 15th chapter of the gospel recorded by Mark. Y'all praying with me today? Amen. <clears throat> and we're going to focus on verse 40. Amen. <clears throat> Mark's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 40. And I'm reading from the translation, King James. It says, there were also women looking on afar off among whom was Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the less and Moses and Salome who also when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered unto him and many other women which came up with him into Jerusalem I want to talk on this topic this morning for our hearing, ride or die, ride or die. It's relevant, and we're going to make it relevant, ride or die. There is so much controversy of the enigmatic state of that of women. Women here have been considered such an enigma. Women have been considered such an un understandable creature. Women have been considered to be extremely complicated. Y'all gonna have to help me preach this today. Women are different. The reality is, is that both men and women were created equally in the eyesight of God. The Bible says that God created humanity he created them both male and female in his own image. The reality is in the dichotomy of the relationship of man and woman is that both need each other in order to exist. Now the interesting thing about the female is that the woman Luke was the last item on the list of creation of God are y'all with me he created the earth he created the animals he created Adam but before it was all over God had to create the woman in order that creation will continue. So then the final act of God's creation was the woman. It's very interesting is that the Bible tells us that God caused the mist to come upon the earth. And the mist moistened the soil. And God took a scoop of soil and he shaped man. In other words, that word shape in the Bible, form, boo, it means to squeeze. So God squeezed the clay. And the clay came into the shape of a man. And God breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life. And man became 
a living soul. God shaped man. Are y'all with me? God squeezed man. God squeezed the clay. And the clay became a man in the image of God. But when it came to the woman, Lord have mercy, God didn't squeeze her. God did not shape her. The Bible says God built her. Lord have mercy, I wish y'all with me. Yeah, yeah, see, God took his time and intricately put parts in place. Y'all ain't got me yet. That would be conducive to that of creation. Y'all ain't got... See, it, it's been complicated from day one because you were built. Yeah, see, God... I wish I... Lord, help me, I wish I was in my office. I can really work this thing. Amen. See, God put the parts in place. Lord have mercy. He built the woman. He shaped the man, but he took his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he used raw material. And see, this is what I love about the creation of the woman is that she came from the rib of the man. And God took the rib out. Watch the sequence. Sold Adam back together. Then started using the raw material while Adam was asleep to build the woman. Can, can I put a pin right there? And, and I'm going to say this. that See, God knew what he was doing because if I was woke. <laughs> oh, y'all ain't praying with me. And God was making... Y'all, I, I, some things, Lord have mercy, y'all, but brother, see, y'all ain't with me this morning. See, this is one of them hard messages. I need y'all praying with me. Yeah, a lot, a lot of brothers would have said, well, Lord, can you, can you just hold the mouth up? Come on, y'all say amen with me this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the God valued that of the woman in that God, church, yeah, yeah, strategically put parts in place. And every part in place was for the purpose of reproduction and the ongoing of creation. That's why we can't understand it, brothers, because it's too complicated for us. Lord, y'all, I wish y'all with me. It's, it's too complicated for us because we are not the barriers of creation and the continuation of creation. So the Bible says that God formed the man, but it says that uh, God, yeah, built the woman. Yeah, she was the last to be created. Are y'all with me, church? She was the first to sin. And she was the first to be cursed. Are y'all with me, church? See, God, you're going to see something about this ride or die in the text today. See, God has a thing for women because women are the carriers of his creation. And see, I, I'm not going to get into, into the non-binary and the binary concepts that we're living in today. This is another type of message. Amen, church. The Bible says that, that the woman was the first to sin. She was the last maid, the first to sin. And in Genesis 3, following that of the serpent, she was the first human to be cursed. But see, in the text here, we see God using women. Lord have mercy. Y'all better stay with me. Can I tell you something? See, God uses the ones who mess up the most to do the biggest assignments. I wish I had somebody praying. I'm going to say it again. Those who mess up the most, yeah, God will use you to do things that some church folk he won't use to do. See, you got some church folk waiting on God to use them in a certain way, and it ain't happening. 
and you're angry, you're bitter because your ministry is not doing what your ministry should be. Can I tell you something? And that same person who's unchurched, Lord have mercy, who's messing up the most, where the mess up folk up in y'all? Y'all, Lord have mercy. Y'all ain't with me this morning. Where, 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 the, where the can't get right folk up in here? Yeah, yeah, the can't get right folk. Yeah, the Bible says that when you try to do right, evil is always by your side. See, God uses the can't get right. And the text tells us here that, uh, yeah, because, uh, yeah, of sin. Are y'all with me today? Yeah, yeah, because of the influence of the enemy that Satan tricked the woman into deceiving the man. The Bible says here that uh, Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived according to Timothy, but it was Eve who was deceived. That's, that, that, that's, that, that's powerful because even though, Lord have mercy, she messed up and not only did she mess up Lord Jesus but she caused the problem for the whole human race but God used her to restore the human race y'all ain't shouting yet see the ones who mess up the most come on y'all the ones who doubt God the most the ones who mess up the most yeah, over and over and over. Those are the ones that God is willing to use. Are y'all with me? Come here, David. He couldn't get it right, but God used him. Come here, Elijah. He couldn't get it right, but God used him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, God will always use, Holly, the ones who have a heart for him and who are willing to be used by God in spite of your hangups. See, Satan wants you looking at how you messed up. I wish I had a witness. See, the devil wants you to look. See, and that's our problem. We focus all the time on how much we messed up. Yeah, but we don't tend to focus on the times that God has gotten us up. Do I have a witness in this place? Know that every time I messed up, God got me up. Come on, I wish I had some person that, that done been through the storm been through some trials, through some tribulations, have seen some hard times in life uh, where you thought you were not going to make it, uh, where you looked around, there was no friend, nobody cared, nobody was on your side, you were ready to throw in the towel, you were ready to give up, uh, you were at your lowest, uh, but God picked you up. See, God picks up people that mess up. Oh, I'm a witness this morning. I wish I had a laundry list of the times that I messed up. Come on, see, y'all acting too holy on me up in here. Y'all think as y'all up in church, you can't admit the fact that you done messed up. But can I need to tell y'all something? See, the Bible says that we all have sinned. Oh, I'm preaching today. And come short of the glory of God. But you got some folk that think y'all done sinned. But I need to tell y'all, we all have sinned. And not only that, we all have sinned, but we all continue to mess up. And I'm so glad that once he saved me, he didn't forget about me. Yeah, that he kept on delivering me. Because every day is a new trial. And because every day is a new trial, every day is new mercy. Anybody got some new mercy today? Because you messed up yesterday. Anybody got some new joy today? Because you were sad yesterday. Anybody got some new happiness today? Because yesterday you were put down. Your self-esteem was low. Y'all ain't praying with me yet. Your problems were high. But today you woke up and you felt the joy of the Lord's salvation. I need to tell somebody that when you mess up, God will pick you up. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? When you fall, now unto him who's able to keep me from falling. Oh, y'all ain't got me. See, because you got some stuff on your path that Satan done put on there. 
I told us yesterday in the message that uh, the Bible says that God will guard your heart and your mind. Can I tell you something about that? That word guard in the original Greek writings mean to look ahead. It means to look ahead and to keep you ahead. It says that what you're about to go through, God has already fixed it. It says that where you're about to get in, God is already in there. It says the problem that you're about to have, God has already solved it. I wish I had two or three witnesses in this place to say that when I got there, God was already there. I wish I had a little preaching strength this morning. Come on, when I got there, boo, he was already there. Y'all don't believe me? You ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They'll tell you, when we got there, God was already there. So when I got there, God was there, and he had already taken the fire or the heat out of the fire. I need to tell us, see, we worry about stuff that God then already fixed. Can I rewind that and say that again? We worry about stuff that God has already fixed. We find ourselves crying, stressing, ruminating, thought after thought. We can't yet yeah, turn our thoughts off, want to cut your head off to stop thinking. Can I tell you something? Just leave it alone. The Bible says, be still and know the salvation of the Lord. I'm feeling my help now. He says he's already worked it out. Why are we worrying about it? Look at, the, look at the text here, church. The Bible says that, that there were some women. Lord have mercy. And see, you got to see something about Jesus, B. Jesus made a point to restore women in the gospel because women had been the outcast. But Jesus made a point to restore the value of his creation in the gospel. Lord have mercy. As I told you, man was the height of creation. Yeah, but man was nothing until the culmination of creation. And the culmination of creation was the counterpart to fulfill and fulfill humanity. So the Bible says here that Jesus, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord, see, y'all see, ain't ready for this. See, Jesus had a bunch of women. I'm going to step back. Because see, Y'all living in 2022. And your minds have been infiltrated. And as the old folk used to say back in the old day, grandmama said, your mind in the gutter. See, I, I need you to get your mind out the gutter. And I need to tell you that Jesus had a bunch of women. Are y'all with me? And these women was his ride or die. I'm trying to get y'all to see something. See, these women were Jesus' ride or die. Everywhere Jesus went, they went. Jesus didn't have to lift a finger. The Bible says they ministered unto him. Y'all ain't got him. He didn't have to lift a finger all Jesus had to do was to do what he was called and what he came to this earth to do and that's save folk but when it came to Jesus there were women that took care of him while he took care of his father's business come on ride or die Lord have mercy y'all ain't praying with me today watch your church, church you gotta see something about, 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 about these women church the Bible says that that if you look at verse 40 it says there were also women you see that in the text that word there were again is my favorite word I may and this word in the Greek I may is in what's called the Greek imperative I'm sorry Im -im 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 imperative and the Greek imperfect being in the Greek imperfect says that this is continuous action. So being in the Greek imperfect and imperative says that these women were with Jesus everywhere he went. Lord have mercy. The word says uh, that it displays the intensity of these women. 
not only does it display the intensity, but it also displays the tenacity of these women. And not only does it display the tenacity, but it also displays the elasticity of these women. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. See, in other words, uh, yeah, these, were, these women were intense. They didn't let anything stop them from doing what they needed to do to minister to Jesus. Uh, are y'all with me? When Peter wasn't there, they were there. When James wasn't there, they were there. When Matthew wasn't there, they were there. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Y'all ain't got me. See, see, in other words, Jesus is saying here something very, very powerful. Can I tell you something about the rider dies? The rider dies are the only people, the only humans who witness the entire gospel. Oh, Lord. You got to see something about these women. See, these women witness the entire gospel when there is no other man Lord have mercy that saw the entire gospel the gospel is the virgin birth are y'all with me Mary was there nobody knows about the virgin birth like Mary are y'all with me <laughs> y'all better stay with me yeah, you see the importance here. See, every, see, Jesus did not have to come through a woman. He chose to come through a woman. So he's restoring this back into the relationship. Y'all making me work. Mary was there for the virgin birth. Are y'all with me, church? And now here at the cross... These women are witnessing his death. Not only are they witnessing his death, but they were the first to witness his resurrection. Watch it, church. They were the first to sin, last created, but first to witness the gospel. The text says here that they were with Jesus. I'm going to close it out that they were with Jesus, it says that they never left his side. Can I tell you something about a ride or die? Ride or die gonna be with you through thick and thin. Oh, y'all ain't got me yet. See, here's the thing about this group of people. They were with Jesus according to the text, verse 41. John, Mark wants us to know that they started off following Jesus in Galilee. Now, in Galilee, Jesus wasn't popular. <laughs> Lord have mercy. In Galilee, he didn't have 5,000. In Galilee, he didn't have a mega church. In Galilee, he'd go to the synagogue and preach to the little crowd in the synagogue. But these women were with him even when he preached to two people. Lord have mercy. And now that he's popular. They still with the Bible lets us know here that these women followed him the whole time. I love this word follow. I need to break this word follow down. The word follow here, it means to be on the same road. It means to be in the same thought pattern. It means to be in the same headspace. See, so what Jesus is saying in the text is telling us that these women didn't just show up. They followed Jesus. Oh, Lord, see, a ride or die ain't going to just show up. They're going to follow, Lord have mercy, the Lord. See, you got some folk in the church that just show up, but they ain't following you. Oh, y'all ain't got me yet. See, the Pharisees showed up for church. The Sadducees showed up for church. The scribes showed up for church. But only the women followed Jesus. That meant that they followed his teachings. That meant that they followed his direction. Y'all going to sleep on me. Lord have mercy. The Bible says that, uh, that they follow Jesus. And see, following Jesus will sometimes end you up in some predicaments. 
following Jesus will sometimes end you up in some situations that you didn't plan on being in. Can I talk to somebody? See, since you start following the Lord, it seems as if some things have gotten worse. Since you dedicated your life to Christ, it seemed like challenges have arisen. See, following Jesus Christ will sometimes put you in some situations that you really don't understand. Here in the text, these women follow Jesus. They rode with him all the way. Now it's time for him to die. So Jesus is not just looking for riders. He's looking for those that's going to be there in the hard times. See, here's the struggle now. Jesus is in his struggle. Jesus is in, the, in his trying time. Jesus is suffering right now on the cross. Jesus is dying, bearing the sins of the world. But these women were still there watching him while his back was beat to the bone, while his face was scarred. Y'all ain't got me yet. Uh, while his chest was bruised with the whip, while he was dying on the cross, these women were still there waiting to minister unto Jesus' body. Lord, have mercy. What a rider dies. Oh, you got some folk. Lord, I need to go and preach to y'all and get out of here. You got some folk, Deek, that's going to stand with you when things looking good. But Lord, have mercy when you're struggling. That's when the true rider dies come out. Yeah, when, you, when you're sick. Yeah, those that come to your rescue. Come on, talk to me. When you're broke. Those that say, here, man, God, God, take, take $100. I ain't looking for it back. Don't tell nobody. Y'all ain't got me yet. See, your ride or die going to look at your child and say, hey, let me slip something here for your child. Your ride or die going to be with you. Your ride or die, can I tell you something else about your ride or die? Your ride or die, with the ride or die really loves you, going to say, girl, you're wrong about that. You need to chill. That's what we miss. We miss, oh, I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. I'm telling you on this one, sis, you wrong. Lord have mercy. And see, you got to see something in the text here. Can I go and close this out? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. The Bible says that not only did these women come from, yeah, from Galilee, but there were other women with them came up, which meant that it was a group of women. Lord have mercy. I need to go on, on stop right here and say ain't nothing more beautiful than a group of women that can work together. Oh, y'all ain't got me yet. See, y'all gonna get mad at me because, see, here's the thing. With the women mentality, can I say something? It goes back to Eve. See, Eve was the only woman. She ain't have any competition. So she was created out of the existence of competition. So when there's another woman, Lord have mercy, what you doing here? In the mentality of the women uh, is what you're doing here. I don't like you. She thinks she looking good, but look at that one string of hair out of place. Oh, one string of hair. Y'all ain't with me yet. Can I tell you, the Bible says that these women got alone and these women worked together for the cause of ministering unto Jesus. Lord have mercy. Yeah, it, it wasn't no alpha woman in the crowd. Cause you know, I'm going to say that again. Lord have mercy. The alpha woman, the queen bee, wasn't in the crowd. They all were servants to Jesus. Y'all ain't praying with me yet. They came together and they worked for Jesus. See, again, our society has been messed up. Because all it's going to take is a whole bunch of women up in here with me every day. Lord, ministering. Y'all ain't got me yet. Our society is messed up. But here in the text, Jesus is saying here that these women ministered unto him. Let me tell you something. But you got to look at it. They're looking afar off. So look at their viewpoint. The Bible says that they were looking. The word looking in the text, it means here 
that they were intensely staring. In other words, this word means that they were a spectator booth. It's like going to a football game. Yet yeah, they were not only looking at Jesus, but they were analyzing. When you are a spectator at a sports event, you're not just sitting in the stand. You're analyzing the action. You're intently looking at the action. These women were intently looking at Jesus. Can I tell y'all something? Yeah, if you keep looking at Jesus, you're going to see God. John said that look up on Jesus and you will see God. Just keep looking at Jesus. Yeah, if you want to know who God is, keep looking at Jesus. Study him intently. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, be a spectator of his blessings, a spectator of his miracles, a spectator of his changes. Can I tell you something? You can look at me and you can spectate me because if anybody know my past, you can look at me and say, had it not been for Jesus, somebody must to save him uh, because as I'm watching him now uh, it ain't the same person Lord have mercy the Bible says that these women looked afar off they were spectators Mary Magdalene was there now y'all know Mary Magdalene uh, the Bible says that she was cured of seven demons now the word seven in the Bible is the word of completion, which means that Mary Magdalene had been completely healed. Let me let, 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 let me let me stop right. See, I told us in Bible study that you can't free somebody from prison if you in prison. You just run in your mouth. You, 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 you can't tell somebody what it's like to be free if you still caught up. Where rain at? Rain uh, if we talking about the boom boom room but we still in jail Lord have mercy Lord have mercy what six year old know about the boom boom room yeah if we both having a conversation about something on the outside and we're both locked up here's my point Mary Magdalene was fully healed her mind was in a good place Oh, Lord, have mercy. Her emotions were in a good place. Yeah, her spirit was in a good place. Her body was in a good place. See, Mary had seven demons, but Jesus took them all out of her. And because Jesus took the demons out of her, she followed him. Oh, Lord. The Bible says these rider dies didn't give up on the challenges let me close this out the these rider dies didn't give up on the sacrifices the bible says uh, that they continued to minister to Jesus it's nothing like having uh, someone to minister as you minister are y'all with me church it's nothing like having a, a ride or die. Y'all getting crying on me today. See the ride or die gonna be there when you're up. And the ride or die gonna be there when you're down. The ride or die is not waiting for someone else to start following you. Nor were they waiting on the crowd to give them a, a pat on the back. You see, some ministry and some service will not get you a pat on the back. Because uh, some things uh, are not seen. See, I, I'm letting my culture come out now. Y'all excuse me. Yeah, Lordy. Uh, you see, uh, some things... Uh, that God asks us to do, uh, yeah, Lord, uh, won't get posted uh, on social. But uh, when God says uh, minister, then uh, we got to ride or die. You see, uh, it doesn't matter who's talking about you. It doesn't matter who's uh, not with you 
The Bible says uh, that they followed Jesus. That uh, everywhere Jesus went, uh, they went. Uh, every stop uh, Jesus made, uh, they were there. They cooked for Jesus. Uh, yeah, Lord, uh, they ministered uh, to his every need uh, while uh, he was on earth. Uh, you got to know something here. He was man uh, and God uh, at the same time. Uh, and because he was man, uh, he required, uh, yeah, feeding. Lord have mercy. After he fed uh, the 5,000, uh, you don't see uh, Jesus eating. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, after he healed the sick, uh, somebody needed uh, to take care of the Lord. Uh, well, the ride uh, dies. Uh, who's uh, willing uh, to sacrifice uh, your time for God? Uh, well, the rider dies. Uh, that says uh, that God, you healed me. Uh, had it not been uh, for the Lord uh, on my side, uh, where would I be? Oh, uh, Lord, uh, some folk, uh, God's been good to you. Uh, God has restored your health. Uh, God has given you uh, a peace of mind. Uh, God has, uh, in spite of uh, how you think it happened, uh, I need to let you know uh, that at the end of the day, uh, that God's got the power. He might use uh, some people, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, God's uh, got the power. He's the one uh, who healed your body. Uh, he is the one uh, who gave you joy. Uh, he is the one uh, who picked you up. Uh, out the muck in the mire and the delivered folk in here her lordy uh, like Mary Magdalene uh, who God uh, got some stuff out of you uh, you were too mean to live uh, and not fit to die you were on your way uh, to a burning hell uh, but the Lord uh, oh the Lord uh, brought you in. Come on, somebody. Do I have a witness out there? Are you ready to be a, a ride or die for the Lord? In spite of the cost, in spite of what it takes, are you willing to tell a lost soul? A Lord, you don't have to beat him upside the head with the Bible. You don't have to quote scripture. Just live a life of love. Because that's all Jesus wants. The rider dies to do. The Bible says that these women, they ministered to Jesus. They weren't perfect, but they did their job. Can I tell you something? What you don't see is the Lord calling these women. Oh Lord, he called Peter. He called Matthew. He called James. He called Bartholomew. But he didn't call these women. Can I tell you something? The Lord says it doesn't matter where you get in. Just get in where you fit in. And at the end of the day, the ones he called wasn't there. But those who had a heart for Jesus, the ones who said, I love the Lord, he heard my cry. The ones who said, and pity him, my every groan, long, long as I live and trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. 
Do I have a witness? Is there a right or die? They say, Lord, you heal my body. I'm going all the way. Lord, you hurt me. Yeah, you heal me. You help me. And I'm going all the way. You help my finances. I'm going all the way. You fix my child. And I'm going all the way. Where the rider dies. Where the one who say, had it not been for the Lord on my side. Can I testify? Oh, Lord. I was sinking uh, deep down in sin. Uh, I wasn't going nowhere. My life was messed up. Uh, oh, can I testify? Terrell, I was in a bad predicament. Uh, but then one day, uh, I had a talk uh, with the Lord. Uh, on my way uh, to fame and fortune, uh, I had a talk with the Lord. And the Lord, uh, oh, the Lord. Lord, turn me around. Where the witnesses at? If I'm talking about it by myself, then I'm just a foolish talker. But with there's a witness, I need two people to high five somebody and say the Lord. He gave me strength and I'm going all the way because the Lord went all the way with me. Ain't he all right? He didn't stop at Gethsemane when he said, take this cup away from me. He didn't stop in the judgment hall of the high priest when they slapped him in the face. He didn't stop. Oh, he didn't stop. In Pilate's judgment praetorium when they whipped him all night long. He didn't stop him when he was going up Calvary's with a cross on his back. He didn't stop him when they put the nails in his hand. Oh, Lord, he didn't stop him when they dropped the cross up in the cross's hole. He didn't stop him when he was on the cross dying. Somebody said he died. He died. He went all the way so that my death, Lord have mercy, will be painless. He died for me, for the things that I've done. Why are you free, preacher? I'm free because at Calvary, all the things that nailed me to the earth were nailed at Calvary. At Calvary, all the things that I had done, all the things that I was convicted of, all my sin, at Calvary, uh, all my crimes I committed, uh, all the things that I had done uh, were nailed up at Calvary. Uh, he died, uh, he died, uh, he died. Y'all ain't got me. He died, uh, oh, he died uh, on Calvary. Uh, to the earth got nervous, uh, started to reel and rock. Uh, Y'all heard the soldier? He said, surely. This must be the Son of God. Nobody can die like that. He died in a different way. Went down to a grave. Stayed there for three days. I believe he did. But on Sunday morning, on Sunday morning, y'all know the story. Oh, on Sunday morning, oh, he got up and saved my soul. Where the rider dies, are y'all willing to go up? All the way, let your problem go, let your worries go. Jesus said, I need some servants, I need somebody who gonna go down and help somebody. I don't need church folk with all your church jargon. I don't need church folk in your church flow with all your church cliches. I need somebody who gonna attract another person without quoting a scripture. I need somebody who gonna bring in a soul without trying to preach to them. Let your light so shine. 
Let your I wish I had a little strength. Let your light so shine that me and my see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You don't have to preach a sermon. You don't have to sling scripture. Just show love to everybody. It doesn't matter. He came to save your soul and the soul of a sinner. Doesn't matter what the sinner is doing with his or her body. Doesn't matter if a sinner is non-binary. It doesn't matter if the sinner is homosexual. It doesn't matter if the sinner is a homemonger. It doesn't matter if the sinner is a queer. It doesn't matter. But the soul that's in the sinner is what Jesus came to save. Because all of us, all of us, Y'all ain't helping me here. Yeah. Say it. Uh, say it. Uh, oh. Say yes. If the Lord can help you, if God has done something for you, you ought to want to tell them thank you. Where the praise is at. Where the rider dies at. Lord, you save my body. You heal my body. I'm going all the way. I'm letting this junk go. I'm letting this hurt go. I'm letting this pain go. I'm letting this anger go. I'm letting this depression go. I'm going all the way. If you're going all the way, high five somebody and tell them I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. Hell might get in my way, but I'm going. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Where the rider dies. Where the rider dies. If God's been good to you, y'all playing with me today. If God's been good to you, if God's been good to you, come on, somebody. Y'all playing with me today. See, ain't nobody do it but the Lord. I tried to take credit. Because I was such an intellect. I tried to take credit because I was such a philosopher. But then when it came down to it, I met somebody who out philosophized me simply by saying, For God so loved the world that I philosophized me. I couldn't grab that, I couldn't understand that. That must be a mighty God that gives his son uh, to save my soul. Uh, say yes, uh, say yes. Uh, huh? I think you got enough. You got enough. Ride or die. They ain't give up. They did not give up. You stuck with Jesus all the way. They didn't show up when they wanted to show up. They did not show up when they were mad. They did not not show up. And the preacher didn't say what they wanted the preacher to say. They love the Lord. They love the Lord. I love the fact that there were so many other women job still got done. Lord have mercy. Sisters, do y'all realize how powerful the church could be? Y'all just stop hating on each other. Ooh, Lord. Do y'all realize how powerful the church could be? Y'all stop just trying to beat each other up to be queen bee. Y'all ain't got me yet. You know how powerful the world could be if the church displayed that type of love. But you know what? I might get kicked off Facebook. I get kicked off all the time. I don't, I don't care. I don't 
work here. They silence me a lot. Y'all waiting on Beyonce to raise the flag. Whatever B say, we rolling with B. Can I, can I, can I tell y'all something? See, th these women in the text today showed us that a queen bee wasn't necessary. What was necessary was unity. Unity. We clapping, but women, I'm going to talk to y'all for a minute. That's hard for y'all to do. It's easier said than done, Pastor. You don't know what she said about me. You don't know how she looked at me. It's easier said than done. Can I tell you something? You can't do it. That's the problem. That's the problem. You're trying to do it, and you can't, and I get it. I understand. I totally understand. It's impossible for you to work in unity with your sister. That's impossible without Jesus Christ. See, the Bible says that the rallying point around them was Jesus. Are y'all with me? Another thing you don't see you don't see them bucking for position with Jesus. Now, the men did that. Are y'all with me? Or let me be first. I want to be first. But the women, they just follow Jesus. Amen. See, because I'm going to say this last thing, because innately, within the nature, they knew what had happened. Sister, you know what happened. Amen. Brothers, we don't know. We weren't there. We didn't have that conversation. We weren't there. All we did was did what you told us to do. Eat. Okay. You didn't tell us why. You just said here. Ain't that right, church? We weren't there. But innately, you've experienced something that we have not experienced. And that's that conversation in the garden. We weren't there. Come on, y'all. Brothers, y'all with me? We, don't, we know nothing about that conversation. Women, you were there. So within your nature is the essence of that conversation. And that conversation was, you can be like God. You can take over. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about position. I'm not talking about by, by inferiority. That's not, the Bible doesn't teach superiority, inferiority. The Bible teaches equality. Are y'all with me? But you had that conversation. And if you remember Jesus, I'm finna click, close this out for real. I just gotta say this last thing. That when the woman was bent over and Jesus came in contact Jordan with a woman and she the Bible says she had been bent over for a long time she walked bent over like this and Jesus looked at the woman and said woman thou art loose okay now that word loose probably what it means is a legal term it means that woman you are now divorced that's what the text is saying you are now divorced okay so now what Jesus is saying is that legally you're free from the person who you listened to and you married in the garden. So y'all should be shouting, see. He said, you are loose. Okay? Jesus says, I know you've been over. I know that you had that conversation. And I know that Satan tricked you. The enemy tricked you. Call it what you want into becoming his woman. That's why it's so easy. Y'all ain't got me yet. Brothers, you know, sometimes we be looking at our wives and our women like, man, that's that good, the devil. And she look at you like, you the devil too. But what God did was, what Jesus did, he said to the woman, you are now divorced from that conversation legally that you had that you struggle with on the inside every day. 
And see, sisters, I'm almost done. You're not mad at us. You're just mad at the situation that you found yourself in and can't figure it out. But Jesus says, you're loosed. You're divorced. You're divorced. You're loose. Stop worrying. Stop questioning. Stop beating yourself up as to why. Why I'm not. Why I can't. Come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. Look in the mirror and beat yourself up. Why I look like this? Why this? Why that? Why I don't have what she got? Da, 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 da. Why, 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 why? hating on them because you think she got what you got which, and she hating on you thinking you got what she want. Woman, thou art loose. You the ride or die. Look at God. The Lord made sure that wasn't a man in sight with nobody but the women that witnessed his death. Not one follower, not one male follower in sight. They weren't there. God did that for a reason. He wanted you there. And when it came to the resurrection, not one man in sight. Y'all with me? He had to tell the women. Y'all go tell the men. He did it for a purpose. Woman, thou art loosed. Ride or die. See, Jesus had ride or dies. And the women went all the way with him. And they were restored. Come on, give God a praise, church. I, this is a different type message today. But I preach it as it comes. Amen. God bless y'all. And God keep you again. Thank God for Ashton and EJ. Dear God, we thank you today for all that you've done for us. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord, we are willing to go all the way for the purpose in your cause. Lord, the world has gone crazy. But we know that you've given us the solution, and the solution is love solution is love. Teach us how to love others. Let love generate from our hearts. Let us be free to love. Let us not be in bondage and chained in fear where we can't love. Thank you, God. We pray that you bless us now as we leave this place but never your sight. And that your Holy Spirit will keep us, keep our Families, Thank you. keep us safe. We glorify you. We magnify Thank you. It is in Jesus' name. And now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with all of us now, henceforth and forevermore. Every heart say amen and amen. We're going to open this door if you want to exit. And then also.